So it's the next day and I am still extremely excited about my new bride seat. It definitely hasn't worn off or anything, the excitement. Um, but what I am like, I guess, really pumped for is trying out the seat actually at the circuit and drifting in it and seeing what a big difference it makes. But before we do that, it's really important that I get a harness for this. So in true genuine JDM fashion, of course, I'm repping Okachan's Yashio factory harness. These things are cool. I've always loved the pink kind of like, I guess, pink bits that stand out in your interior, as they say, those rare pink bits. Um, this is a four point FIA approved harness. It doesn't expire to 2023. Yes, every harness that is FIA approved or approved to anything has a certain amount of expiry time on there. So uh, make sure you research that before you buy a harness. Make sure it's got the, the maximum amount of time because if you're buying them for competition use, uh, you have to replace them once they expire. Now, this is a four point harness. So if I wanted to do anything proper like FD or D1 with this, I couldn't use it. I need the 6.1 for the whole like anti-submarining thing. Um, which is just when like you have a really bad accident and you slide out the bottom because there's no strap between your legs kind of holding you in um, But for all the street legal competitions and stuff like that. This is totally fine um, So yeah, really wide straps as you can see there. So this is a really good high quality harness We're gonna go through and install this. We don't need a harness bar for this It actually comes with these awesome little eyelets that screw into like the seat belt bolting points in the boot So we are gonna probably remove the rear seat um, but otherwise, I'm just really excited to throw this in there because I think it's going to make my interior look amazing with just the, the nice pink harnesses there. So anyways, let's get to it. So everything was going great and uh, I love this because I, I'm still able to keep the factory seat belts in here and I'll be able to put the factory seat in as well which means like this will still make it kind of quiet in the rear here because the moment you take your seats out of your like you know drift car and whatnot it makes it so much louder so this still keeps all the factory seat belts there for shucking um, and these will just come up through this like the seams of the bottom seat so that's awesome that can stay there um, I did run into a little bit of a roadblock. Um, so the final eyelet, which is this one here, I thought went into the bolting point of the seat, but it's kind of strange because I always thought that with like, you know, a lot of harnesses that are FIA approved and stuff, you, st you can't go into the same bolting points as the seat. So I was a little bit like, uh, but turned out that bolt's actually smaller than the thread on this one. So it definitely doesn't go in there. So I uh, quickly had a quick call with Okachan and he said that, yeah, you're supposed to drill a hole here and put this in um, with a special plate and everything on the other side. Now I asked him where that plate was and he said, oh, you need to buy it separately and he's got them at the workshop. So I've got to go and get that now. Um, so that's the only bolting point that I can't bolt in today. Um, but this side, let me show you this side. It's designed to bolt into this point here for this bracket for the factory seat belt as well. So all of that's all good. That comes up in there. Um, it's very hard um, getting in the in and out of the back seat of my car because I'm parked up against the fence because my neighbors are coming in and out uh, on the weekend. And um, I don't have a reclinable seat anymore. So because this is fixed back, it only goes so far forward. So I have to like climb over the top of it and then kind of climb in the back here. But anyways, uh, so we're kind of at a standstill, but the good news is, is I can still, I've finished everything else except that one part. So what I can do with this is put the seat in, make it all look pretty, um, pack up everything. And it's kind of done except for one bolting point, which we will sort out probably tomorrow, but tomorrow's D1 FIA. So we'll see what happens there. Um, I don't know, we might have enough time today to get it. I don't know, it just depends on work schedule and stuff like that. And uh, what the wifey wants to do because I need to spend some time with her today. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I really love how this looks. Obviously, I haven't adjusted anything yet because uh, um, I haven't been able to you know, get all of it bolted in and sit in there and get the right lengths and everything adjusted. But that's the gist of it. That's 
how it's meant to look and man do I love it. It looks so cool. The pink really is awesome, really is. How wide these shoulder straps are as well as what really looks cool. The pink, the Yashio factory logo looks so good and it's in a skyline. It's like the ultimate kind of like thing to frustrate and annoy Okachan is putting Yashio factory parts on a skyline. So funny. All right, anyways, uh, I'm gonna clean everything up through you in the time lapse and then we'll uh, finish up from there. Okay, so finished packing everything up and just looking at how everything's looking. It looks amazing. I'm really loving my interior right now. Um, these are gonna probably end up being much higher once I adjust them to suit me. Um, and then obviously this still isn't bolted in yet, but we'll get that part from Okachan at a later date and we'll get that sorted out before the next track day. So that's not a big issue. Um, but otherwise, I just, I'm in love with this seat, man. It's been such a huge dream for me ever since I got into cars to one day have like a, you know, a fixed back genuine fiberglass bride or burrito. In Japanese, it's, it's pronounced as like burrito. Um, we don't pronounce it as like bride, but I mean, for Westerners and people that speak English, it just makes sense to call it bride, right? Anyways, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want you guys to feel like I'm flexing on you, but this is just like a huge like bucket list thing for me to finally get. And the Yashio factory harness just makes it pop and look awesome. So anyways, that's it for now. Um, <coughs> the rest of the day, I actually have to uh, head to work. I've got a, like an evening shift. I finish at 1 a.m. tonight, so I'm working from four to one. And then after that, tomorrow we're at D1 FIA. So we'll lock up the car, head inside, and we'll wrap things up. Okay, so just stop a second. It's a couple days later. I know I probably look stupid with this uh, headlight on and everything, but I'm working in the pitch black so that my car's ready in time for Nico circuit. Um, anyways, yesterday I went to D1 GP FIA, and before I went to D1, I went and saw Okachan and he hooked me up with the plate that I need for his harness. Um, and I just quickly had a look under the car where I needed to drill it, because he showed me on an S15 where it needs to go, and it's pretty much identical. So I'm gonna drill that hole now in behind where the seat bolt is, um, the exact distance of this from the bolt back over, and then this will go there. We'll put the eyelet through, screw it into this and tighten it, and then um, we're good to pretty much clip that part of the harness on there and we're ready to adjust it at the track and good to drive. So I'm gonna do that now. There's no point in time-lapsing or filming it because it's so dark. I got this awesome new uh, Manofrotto um, LED light that I'm still getting the hang of. Um, hopefully it looks okay, we'll, we'll see. And hopefully it'll work well at uh, Daikoku Futo PA. Anyways, for now I'm gonna smash this out and then I guess we'll go inside and wrap up the video. Okay, so I just wanted to quickly show you guys, I got the last like mounting point for the harness in there, the eyelet with the plate on the other side in the tunnel where the uh, tail shaft is. And uh, as you can see, it's behind the rear bolt point for the seat. So uh, that's a good, a good like uh, maybe like seven centimeters back and a little bit higher up as well uh, and that's because uh, Okachan said when mounting it for like FIA regulations and stuff you can't bolt them to the floor they have to be certain angles and stuff like that and he said it has to be behind that bolt point so it should be good if ever I enter a comp with that but anyways uh, pretty much done gonna pack up the car a little bit more and then we'll head inside Okay, so the harness is all installed now, which is great. It feels super weird refilming the ending of this vlog a couple days later, but uh, I'm sure you guys understand. I really wanted to show you like the final installation thing to the whole harness as, as well as I think it's kind of important that people understand that when they're putting their harness in not to go off the seat bolts. A uh, common mistake a lot of people do is when they put in their bucket seats, they just clip the harness onto like uh, the bolts or put eyelets in place of where the bolts of the seats are. But um, if you do that, yeah, it's if something happens with your seat, and the harness isn't holding you in, that's like another way of it holding the seat down. So if you're putting all this strain and stress on those bolts, it could cause not only your seat to come off, but then if your seat comes loose, you're attached into that seat that's just broken off, you're gonna go flying. So uh, super important that you guys don't do that, as well as where you put your eyelets and your plates, make sure it's further back so it's not gonna like weaken up where those bolting points are for your seats, as well as weaken up where your harness eyelet bolting point is as well. But otherwise, everything else in the car just went into uh, the bolting points for the seat belts into the rear of the car. Now, of course, um, 
really no one's gonna sit in that back seat anymore. I just put the seat back in there so that it uh, kind of looked a little bit nicer and kind of got rid of all of the noise that's gonna happen from the diff and things like that because we kind of still do use the car for daily use around here. So I'd rather not have no seat in the rear where you can just hear all of the road noise coming through and stuff like that. It really makes a huge difference when you don't have a rear seat compared to when you do or vice versa, you know what I mean? When you have a rear seat and you're used to having not having one. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm getting tongue tied, but you know what I'm trying to say. It's loud as hell when you don't have a seat. There you go, you understand it. So anyways, um, yeah, super excited to finally have a seat and a harness that's gonna hold me in place. I don't have to worry about you know, bracing myself with my legs or anything. And the, the best thing about that is now I can work more on my foot control and pedal control. Um, one thing that I really wanna focus on is doing some more left foot braking with some tandems and stuff like that. So Nico Circuit's gonna be awesome for tandem practice, mainly just because there's gonna be some really awesome drivers there that I can practice with. But anyways, thanks heaps for watching guys. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Definitely check out my social media in, this, in the description too. I'd love to see some more of you guys on Instagram and replying to my stories and interacting with me there because I show a whole bunch of behind the scenes stuff there and you can get updates way before videos come out. And I think that's enough for a closing out video. So I'll catch you all later guys. Jamatane.